So this is May 24, paper 2, question 5, at Excel IGC CPU Maths. So let's get on with it. So they have given an equation, which is this equation. All right. So now we have to show that the left hand side is equals to the right hand side. So normally when we uh, when some of you do this like do this math you basically show that the left hand side equals the right hand side or the right hand side is equals to the left hand side so that's how you usually do this so there's another method to it so if you look at this this is an equation right this is an equation since this is an equation we can say that d square y over dx square minus 4 dy over dx plus 4y now what we can do is that bring this left hand side uh, left hand side to the right hand side part which is minus 2 e to the power 2x equals zero so now it has so now it's much easier for us to prove that this is equals to zero so now what we need to do is that find out the value of dy over dx and the double derivative of y so let's first find out the dy over dx dy over dx now as you can see that this is a function let's call this function u and let's call this function v so these are in multiplied form so we can use the product rule at this point which is u dv over dx that is u dv over dx that is 2x minus 5 2x minus 5 plus v du over dx so it's 2 e to the power 2x and x squared minus 5x so that's our derivative and we can take e to the power 2x is common so we get 2x minus 5 plus 2x squared minus 10x and now we just need to simplify this so this is a more simplified version all right so now we need to find out the value of d square y over dx squared so d squared y over dx squared so now we have to differentiate this so we can say that this is a function which is u and this is another function which is v and these are in multiplied format so we can use the product rule which is again the same method which is u dv over dx that is 4x minus 8 plus v du over dx which is 2 e to the power 2x and 2x squared minus 8x minus 5 so let's simplify this so e to the power 2x and 4x minus 8 plus 4x squared minus 16x minus 10. So this is our simplified version. All right. So now let's take this, 
which is d squared d squared y over dx squared which is this part let's write it down it is e to the power 2x or x squared minus 12x minus 18 so this this is d squared y over dx squared minus 4 dy over dx so it's minus 4 multiplied by dy over dx that is 4 e to the power 2x and 2x squared minus 8x minus 5 and plus 4y that is plus 4 e to the power 2x x squared minus 5x and then final part is minus 2 e to the power 2x So now what we have to do is that show that this this expression is equals to zero. So that's our so that's what we have to do now. So let's just simplify this. So simplifying this will get us wait. So let's first simplify this part. Which is if we take e to the power 2x common, we get 4x squared minus 12x minus 18 minus 8x squared and plus 32x plus 20. So that's negative 4x squared. So negative 4x squared and plus 20x and plus 2. Plus 4x squared to the power 2x. So now we can clearly see that this is equals to zero. So this is how we do this. And this is how you usually should do this derivative maths. Because if you show that the left hand side or the right hand side equals to the other side, this will be a little more complicated than this so that's it for question 5 and i'll see you in the next video